Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games. Now I'm going to be continuing my Blender Modifiers tutorial series. Now in the last one we did the Mirror Modifier, which allows you to make symmetrical objects. In this tutorial, um, we are going to be doing the Remesh. Now I apologize again, I, the multi-resolution mesh is used for sculpting. The Remesh is used, um, and that's the one we're actually going to use, is the Remesh. So, the reason the remesh is here is because it allows you to kind of fix the vertices. So, let's change this. Um, let's actually delete this cube. I'm going to add a sphere. Now I'm going to go to remesh. Now, if I keep changing this octane depth, you can see it's actually adding... Now it's actually lagging my computer now, but you can see that the less octane depth, actuary depth, sorry, it has the less complex of a model it is. So I'm going to change this up to the highest scale. I'm going to change on smooth shading so that you can see. As you can see, the more I add, the less complex of a vertice is. So if we had a really complicated mesh, this is actually a really easy way to do lots of things. <clears throat> Sorry. So it's a really easy way to retopologize. Now, let's say we had a crazy object like text. I'm going to hit rotate x90 just so we can have this. And I'm just going to type in JGN Games. Now, some people actually do not know this, but you can actually turn this into. So I'm going to go to the font and I'm just going to extrude this. A lot like 0.25 but then I'm gonna offset it by 0.5 and I'm gonna bevel it 0.4 give it a revolution of 1 so you can see this but if I hit alt C I can say mesh from curve and now this is actually a mesh now this is a more complex model now so we're gonna use the um, remesh modifier on here you click on this. Now it's got an octane depth of 5. So you can see already that it's already having a rough time making this. So I can go. And it's not even it's not even picking up JG in games. And if I changing the scale. It's lots of little things. And you can see it's actually slowing down. But you can use this to retopologize models. You can use this to do all kinds of things. But because um, it's such a big model, it does not like them um, being two separate objects. So it's only done games. You can also change this to like blocks. And this is a cool way you can make like pixelated text. Um, I'm going to keep it on Octreus. And then you can also do smooth. So. That's the remesh modifier. It allows you to get rid of vertices while keeping the same um, structure, silhouette. Now, the advantage of this over retopologizing is for LOD groups. Now, I don't know what LOD stands for, but I do know what they are. If you have a UV sphere and we tab and we, tab and we subdivide this twice, you're not going to want 7,000 vertices all the time, especially in a game. So if I smooth shade this, you can see it's okay. Now if I hit tab, I'm actually going to unsubdivide this. It's about right there. Now, we don't want that for all of, um, because we don't want 7,000 vertices being queued in an engine like Unity every frame depending on our um, at any place. So there's a thing called LOD groups, which allows you to set a percent, a distance away from the camera in which the object changes. So let's say we wanted this, and then we can say, then we can add a remesh modifier, and you can see that we can actually, and if I turn on smooth shading just so you can see, we can play around and go all the way to two. So like, let's say we want the camera is really far away. Look how many vertices. There's only, that's only 50 vertices. That's fair enough. So if the camera is, let's say, 
I don't know, it's this far away. We might want that. I'm sorry about the cursor. So if the camera is this far away from the circle, we might we would want that. But as the camera zooms in, we might want to turn up the octree depth so that it looks more like a sphere. Now by doing this, there are some disadvantages. You would obviously have to use smooth. And the highest you'd use with smooth is five, especially with a sphere. But you can see that if the camera was really far away, that looks like a sphere. But as it gets closer, you can see that that is not a sphere. So you would probably want a depth of five right there. Now, if you chose to, you could do the blocks, which you can actually get some really cool effects, um, like Lego almost. And yeah. So you can almost get your own Lego effect. That's personally how I would do this. I would actually, if I was making a Lego animation, that is the way I would do it. I'd give it like a five or a six depending on its size, and then I just animate it from there. Because if I go into rendered mode by doing this, and there's no light in the scene, but you can see that that's starting to look a lot like Legos, and just give it a bump on the top and you'll be set. So that was the remesh modifier. It is useful for LOD groups, for game design. It is an extremely useful tool for game designers and also for animators. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys next time.